Welcome to this lecture on social and emotional learning. Social and emotional learning, SEL, refers to the processes, activities, or programs designed to help individuals develop a range of non-academic competencies. The benefits of SEL skills include academic success, behavioral health, and enhanced overall life skills. The Collaborative for Academic, Social, and Emotional Learning lists five social and emotional learning competencies. Self-awareness, the ability to label one's feelings, self-assess strengths and challenges, and believe in one's abilities. Self-management, regulating one's emotions, stress management, self-control, and setting and achieving goals. Social awareness, perspective taking, empathy, and understanding social and ethical norms of behavior. Relationship skills, building relationships, communicating clearly, resolving conflict, and seeking help. Responsible decision making, considering the well-being of self and others, basing decisions on safety, making constructive, safe choices. The outcomes for this module are advocate for policies and practices which address student and staff mental and physical health and trauma, address individual and institutional biases through tiered interventions supports and programming for underserved populations. The important questions that guide our learning in this module are, what is the impact of social and emotional learning on students? How is social and emotional learning infused throughout the learning environment? What opportunities exist for stakeholder collaborations? Minnesota Department of Education recommends guidelines for schools and districts implementing SEL programs. An important component of Positive Behavioral Interventions and Supports, PBIS, outcomes include social competence. As you plan your leadership decisions, be mindful of program systems, data, and practices while implementing programs for all stakeholders. Everyone's behaviors are socially and culturally influenced. In other words, students' and adults' behaviors are influenced by their own cultural histories, community practices, and multiple personal identities. Effective SEL instruction involves demonstrating an appreciation and valuing of students' own personal identities cultural histories, and community practices. Context matters. Effective SEL instruction does not oversimplify what appropriate social and emotional responses are without expanding the complexities of social interactions. There is typically not a direct one-to-one -one causal relationship between an event and how one reacts to the event. Various contextual variables influence how one interprets and then responds in a given situation. Recognize issues of power and privilege. Members from non-dominant groups that have been historically marginalized in schools and in society live with systems of oppression every day. Experts say it's important for teachers to recognize that some skills taught by SEL instruction could perpetuate students' oppression, emphasizing compliant behaviors rather than addressing inequitable policies and practices in the school and classroom. Effective SEL instruction should empower students. Effective SEL instruction is not about behavioral regulation or promoting compliance. SEL instruction done well empowers students to constructively question 
inequitable treatment and make decisions that will move them toward self-determination.